Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to have a little bit of a different video for you guys. Um, I absolutely love luxury and Louis Vuitton happens to be one of my favorite brands. So today I actually have not one, not two, but three items for you guys to share. Now I'm going to start off with my first purchase. So I went and splurged and bought myself a new bag. Um, I've never done a luxury haul on this channel before. I believe I did what's in my desert bag um, for you guys maybe about four years ago right before I had right after I had my son and that did, video did well. I was planning on coming back with a whole luxury haul segment but of course I made the transition from being like a full-time professional going to a nine to five. 40 hours a week to becoming a full-time mom. So pre-kids, luxury was definitely one of my favorite hobbies. I built a pretty nice collection, I would say, um, from maybe like 19 to about 25. And then once I became a mom, that kind of was one of the things that took a back burner. Um, I had to kind of give up the whole luxury world and just pretty much utilize the collection that I had and just focus on being a mommy and building a career so that I could re-enter the force of fashion and my love for luxury and so I was definitely desperately in need of a new bag um, I had my Louis Vuitton never full in the monogram canvas since I was 19 that was my first Louis Vuitton bag before then I loved coach Judy and Burke um, I never was a Michael Kors fan but a lot of those like Macy's or like department store brands that are not as luxury I always had literally since I was like maybe like six or seven years old that was kind of like my mom's thing and then when I turned like 19 I was like you know what I want Louis Vuitton so I just remember asking my mom like hey if I come up with half the money for Louis Vuitton never fold you give me the other half she agreed and from there it was like love at first sight and I haven't looked back that bag literally I got it at 19 um, I had my son at, I think I was 24 maybe I was 25 when I had my oldest and it served as my diaper bag it literally was a daily everyday bag and it literally lasted me i want to say like almost 10 years um i just retired it and put it in storage with majority of my collection so pretty much i say all of that to say that you guys will definitely have a luxury segment on my channel um, i'm hoping to kind of resist the urge and not go too crazy but definitely whenever i buy a new item i definitely will share it with you guys so this here is my first purchase um, in quite some time. This is the Louis Vuitton All In in the size MM. Now I do have a limited edition red strap and it also comes with the tag here. Um, I have not seen this on the website. Honestly, I didn't see this bag at all. I went into Louis Vuitton for the Neverfull. I was pretty much going to do a repurchase. As I said before, the Neverfull was my first Louis Vuitton bag and I know there are tons of people who love it and tons of people who um, hate it but it served literally as like the best bag no matter what bag I had whether it was a Forever 21 bag, a Fendi bag, a Prada bag I always went back to my Never Fools so I definitely thought it would be a great idea to repurchase that bag yes yeah, so on May 15th I basically went into Louis Vuitton my local Louis Vuitton and I purchased the Never Fool GM um, Pivion I think it says. I'm not sure what Pivion is, but I believe it's the one with the pink interior. There was literally only one left in the store. I was excited to have the pink interior because I had the original with the tan interior. Um, that one retails for $1,400. But literally, as I was leaving out of the store, they had this one on display in the window. And I was like, what is that? Because... I'm the type of person, especially when I'm making a large purchase, even when I make small purchases, I definitely stalk the website, I look up reviews. Even though I had a Never Fool for literally almost 10 years, I still went and wanted to see what people were saying about it, with their reviews about it, because sometimes that helps to make your decision again, especially with larger purchases. So I took Never Fool home, I kind of slept on it and just kind of like could not get this back out of my head. Because I had the Never Fool for so long, I kind of just felt like maybe this would be a great bag just because I'll be able to go ahead and have something a little bit different. So literally the next day, um, Hubby and I had went back to the same Louis Vuitton to get his luggage, his carry-on luggage hot stamped. And I showed him the bag and he was like, yes, that's a super, super, super nice bag. 
um, and he liked it much more than he likes Neverfull. He did have a problem with Neverfull, but when he seen this in comparison, he was like, yes. And then, of course, red is his, is his favorite color, so he loved the red straps. So he literally took the kids to play in the mall. I hopped in a truck and ran home and grabbed my original purchase, which was the Neverfull. Brought it back to the mall. We met back up and I went in and I exchanged for this one. So this here is my receipt. This is actually my exchange receipt. And again, I purchased the Neverfull GM Pivion and it's $1,400. And I exchanged it for the All In MM Cocolia. I'll leave it linked down below, but that is the name. Um, it was $1,680. So I pretty much had went back and I paid a difference of $280 plus $26.50 for sales tax. So pretty much my grand total um, for the difference from the Neverfull to this bag was $306.60. Now see, that was the make or break for me. Whenever I purchased the Neverfull and then I seen this bag and realized the price, I was like, I don't know if I really want to pay $300 more for another bag. I could definitely purchase a small other good or um, just save the money altogether. But I just definitely didn't know. And that was pretty much like the 24 hour debate. Like I literally was in shambles trying to figure it out. And I pretty much let Hubby make the decision for me. And when he said this was a much better bag, or a much better option um, considering this will pretty much be my primary bag for like myself, the kids, my diaper bag, my mommy bag for a little while even though I probably will make a diaper bag purchase coming soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I just kind of felt like this one would be amazing so if you guys want to see a video where I show the pros and cons and a side by side comparison with this bag and a Neverfull, I definitely will pull my two Neverfulls out of storage and kind of show you. But I'll kind of give you guys a rundown on this one. Now she's pretty big. This is an MM and then the Neverfull is a GM and this is definitely, I want to say equal size but a little bit shape different. As you guys can see, it comes out wide at the top and it's a little bit tapered to the bottom. Um, one of the key things that I really loved is that this one zips up. So as you guys can see, it zips for much more privacy. And I think that's pr pretty much one of the biggest downsides to the Never Fool is that it's just always open. Even when you leave it unzipped, the way that it hugs your body is definitely much more personable. If someone is in front of you or in back of you or, you know, like towering over you, they cannot see into your bag just the way it naturally folds in store I was able to get a hot stamp so I got my initials there AL Ashley Lyons inside it is super deep so I definitely went ahead on Amazon and I picked up an insert I also picked up this envelope and I'll show you guys that in just a moment but this is the inside it just has a brown lining which I love the fact that they chose to go with brown inside opposed to tan. In my original Never Fool, the inside was tan and of course it collected dust and dirt easily. And then the only thing it comes with inside is one large pocket. Now this is like kind of like one of those flat pockets that kind of is just there. So the zipper is gold and then it's lined with the red. And then right here it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Spain so this bag was definitely made in Spain and then inside of that large pocket you just have your two little identification cards or whatever you want to call it again what I loved the most was that it actually zipped which was the biggest downfall to the Neverfull um, the entire thing again is canvas and it folds up very pretty much flat so like if you wanted to travel and just take this as an extra bag it just float, folds up and it would be super flat in your luggage now also speaking of luggage i searched high and low on the website once i seen this bag in person and i was so confused because i'm like how do they have a whole bag again they have this one with the red straps and they also have the one with the regular tan straps and it just wasn't on the site. So when I went back to the website, I was told that this one is only in the luggage section. So this is technically considered a luggage piece, which I didn't mind that. Again, we're going on a trip this week, and so I just needed a 
carry on that would hold all of my carry on stuff, my personal, you know, purse belongings, um, everything I wanted to carry as a carry on, everything that my kids would need as a carry on, as well as like diaper bag needs, as well as, you know, a blanket if I wanted to put in there. I just wanted something that can carry literally all our stuff between me and the kids. And you guys also know that I am currently with child so come September I literally will be a mom of three so I just needed something that was big and convenient and that could serve as a diaper bag and this was definitely the perfect purchase. Now to complement my bag I went ahead and purchased this purse insert. Now surprisingly I have been collecting bags since 19. I am currently 30 years old and the one thing I've never bought was a purse insert. So I'll leave this one linked down below. I literally en route from my house picked this up and again this is the pink insert because I had originally bought the Neverfull with the pink interior. Um, I went ahead and ordered this on Amazon and then literally the next day when I realized I was exchanging for red I swapped it out and got the red. I was supposed to return the pink one but I just haven't done so. so I probably will hold on to it just because I have a few more purchases up my sleeve. I'm able to put it right back in. Now one thing I will mention is that if you've never had a insert into your bag, one of the things that I assumed is that the insert would keep this part here um, super sturdy and flat. And honestly it doesn't. Like I was in the mall the other day and I realized that this part still was drooping now of course I believe I had like a water bottle and much more um, contents in here but it doesn't necessarily keep it flat especially the heavier your bag gets also with that I had also purchased this little envelope and as you guys can see right now it's filled with receipts if you know me and you've ever been in one of my never full bags or any of my bags for that matter you know that I oftentimes accumulate receipts really really fast so I just picked up this envelope and I'll have it linked down below. Again, it came from um, Amazon as well. And it just matches the insert very nicely. It also fits in the bag very seamlessly. And I'm able to pretty much tuck away like receipts and important papers. Um, and it just looked nice in here and not look junky because a lot of times when my purses look junky, it's because it's like bombarded with receipts and stuff. So again, let me know if you guys want to see a what's in my purse video. And I definitely will do that for you guys this week. Now on to my SLGs. So do you guys know how it is when you make one large purchase? You take your time. You save your money. You make sure that it's a good purchase. You return or exchange if need be, which I definitely did. And then you think, okay, this is just, just, just this one bag. Just this one bag. And then of course... You get the bug to shop and then you just can't control yourself. So I went ahead and made a purchase online and I definitely went for a small leather good. Now one thing I am definitely interested in doing um, and collecting is pretty much small leather goods. Again, I'm not that big on luxury like special edition collections. I'm more so into the classic monogram, the Azure, the Damia Ebene. Those are the ones I feel like will last forever. I am almost a mom of two. I have one daughter and I'll have another one in a few months. And I just love the fact that like my entire collection will belong to them one day and they'll be able to have all these vintage bags and things like that. Whereas with the special edition stuff, I kind of just like love it, love it, love it. And then after seeing it for so long, I get tired of it. Whereas with the Louis Vuitton classics, I just never ever get tired of it. So this here is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. And I went for a very classic in the monogram canvas print. And it literally is just a nice, stylish, cute keychain. This one on the website retails for $205. I'll have it linked down below, but I feel like this is almost a great gift. A lot of times you want to buy somebody something nice and you're not sure what to get. I feel like going with small living goods is a great way to show your appreciation for people when you want to give a gift. And it's always a classic piece. I feel like even if they don't use it forever or if they don't always find a need for it, it's something that they will keep forever. If you buy a person a pair of shoes, they'll go out of style a million times over. Whereas something like this, literally 20, 30 years later, they could still have. And the inside, it just says Louis Vuitton Paris. And as you guys can see, it's like a brown leather 
inside. Now this thing can definitely hold a lot as far as a keychain goes. I feel like there are times when I definitely just want to put on my Apple Watch and grab my keys and my phone and go. And I'm able to, you know, throw like my ID and a um, debit card in here. I'm also able to like lug any receipts I come across or pick up and my change in here, which is pretty much all you need when it comes to your keys. You have to kind of like pull up to be able to get it off and like push down to get it back on. So it's not just gonna be flimsy and just open up. Now the third and final item was actually a gift, a sweet, sweet, sweet gift from my hubby. He went in and bought me a wallet and surprised me and bought it home. Now I've honestly had this bag for two weeks. Yeah, I think I bought it the 16th, the 15th of May. I literally kept it on my kitchen table for almost two weeks and I was like, you know what, I have to start wearing it. I haven't had time to film this video. So I went ahead and cracked it open and I've been loving it ever since. And then a few days after I made that purchase, Babe went to the mall um, to pick up his um, jeans that he got tailored at Nordstrom. And he came home with me a cute little gift. So again, I am building my SLG collection and so I was super excited, happy, and grateful to receive this here. And this is a wallet. I do not have a nice and substantial Louis Vuitton wallet, or I used to. Let me show you guys what I've been carrying this here. So I purchased the Louis Vuitton, I want to say it was the Josephine. I'll write it across the screen, but the wallet pretty much was a really nice large, um, like bifold, or I can't remember what kind of wallet it was, but it basically folded and then it had an insert and this was kind of like the free insert that was in there um i lost the wallet i want to say like 2012 i bought it like in 2011 i lost it maybe like 2012 2013 but this was the piece that i had usually had kept at home so rather than purchasing a new wallet i just utilized the little pouch that was inside of the wallet and i promise you guys this has been my wallet non-stop since like 2012 2013 and it's 2019 and as you guys can see even though it's old and beat up and you guys can tell it's old it definitely has held up which is why I love Louis Vuitton so much if I had bought like a forever 21 wallet I honestly believe that it would have ripped up and torn and I would have pretty much bought like 10 or 15 you know forever 21 wallets so to speak so I absolutely love this and Babe was like, you know, you've been carrying that beat up wallet since before I met you. Enjoy a nice wallet. Now he did buy me the Chanel wallet for Christmas and I'll leave that one linked down below, but it's the large zip around wallet. Um, that one is really big and the purse that I've been carrying lately is pretty small. So I kind of put that one to the side and went back to my old faithful. So this one here is the perfect size. It's not that huge. While it is nice and compact, even though I carry a big big um, purse now, it's nice and compact and it's actually very, very, very nice. So originally he brought it home and surprised me. He had it with the lighter pink um, inside and I believe the pink is called Rose Ballerine. And as much as I love that one, I know me and practically speaking, this is a wallet that I probably will keep for 10 years plus if not longer and so I just was kind of like did it come in the red and it didn't it only came in the rose ballerine and then the fuchsia now when you look at the fuchsia at first glance it almost looks like a burgundy or red but it's actually a true deep fuchsia this is what it looks like in the inside it has a nice large insert for you to be able to put all of your money and all your extras in there um, and then here there is a another flap that you can put like some cards or some cash or whatever into. This one also opens up on this side. So pretty much it opens on both sides. And then of course you have one, two, three, four, five. You have six slots for credit and debit cards. And then you also have a coin, coin purse section that you're able to fit all of your change. And then up here also you have one of these little tags so I'm happy to have showed you guys this because now I can finally fill it up with all of my amazing cards 
Now this one also came with a receipt, obviously. And this receipt was smaller, even though the this was this is like a bigger purchase than the key pouch. But the actual receipt was smaller, I guess, because um it was an in-purchase, in-store purchase. So this one is the PF Victorine MNG Rose Ballerine is what I bought, what he bought. And then I exchanged it for the PF Victorine MNG Fuchsia. So it pretty much obviously was an even exchange. This one retails for $545. Um, and then there was like sales tax and stuff like that. I don't have the original receipt on me. But this was purchased on May 24th. So then of course they had wrapped it. Um, everything was wrapped. The um, key pouch was also wrapped with the... Louis Vuitton ribbon and then this was wrapped and something that I noticed different about this is that attached to the ribbon they had this little slot and I opened it up and I was like what is this and it actually is just a blank card but I guess because they seen a man buying a woman's um, wallet they knew it was a gift or assumed it was a gift so he would have been able to write a little love note on this or a you know happy birthday or whatever it would have been a special occasion but again this was a just because gift and I definitely will appreciate and cherish it, cherish it forever. So yeah, that pretty much was my purchases. I've also picked up a few other things. I picked up some Alexander Wang sandals, um, a Dior visor, um, some Gucci slides, a Gucci scarf. I've picked up quite a few things over the last two or three weeks. Again, I have the shopping bug since biting, since purchasing this bag, I've had the shopping bug. And it's been hard, super hard to contain myself. So, so yeah, I'm super excited to be back a part of the luxury community. I definitely have my sights on quite a few bags. Again, I do want to go back and get the Neverfull. Um, I also need a diaper bag. I am due um, for delivery for my new daughter, my baby daughter, in about four months. So I definitely want to purchase a monogram personalized piece so hopefully i'll be able to surprise reveal that for you guys before she is born i believe it takes six weeks i have to revisit the site and see how long it's going to take but i probably should be ordering that pretty soon so that it'll be here in time for baby girl um yeah and so many more things so let me know if you guys want to see these videos from me thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i love my new pieces Again, if you want to see a what's in my bag, let me know. If you guys want to see a comparison between this and my Neverfull, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.